Hi everyone, Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. Shahi paneer is a very popular Indian dish where the paneer is cooked with spices in a rich, thick, creamy gravy. Today I will show you how to make Shahi paneer korma, but I will prepare it in a healthy way so that we can include this often in our lunch and dinner menu. In a bowl, take about 500 ml of warm water, add about 1.5 teaspoons of salt to it, stir with a spoon so that all the salt dissolves and then submerge the paneer pieces in this salt water. In this way the paneer tastes better and gets soft as well. I have cut the paneer in triangular shapes but you can cut them into any shapes of your choice. Keep this aside while you do your other prep work. I have taken one large onion which I chopped finely. The ingredient proportions are all given in the description box below so please check out for that. Then I have taken 4 big garlic cloves and a 2 inch piece of ginger which I put in my blender jar. I added about 3 tablespoons of onions that I had chopped earlier and blended everything to a fine paste with little water. Then I have taken about 10 whole cashew nuts which I have submerged in little water. I put those in the blender as well and made a fine paste. In a separate bowl, I added about 1.5 teaspoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder or you can even use paprika. Then add about 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder. Add about 1 4 cup of water to it and mix the spices well. If you want your curry to be more spicy, then you can even use half teaspoon of red chilli powder instead of Kashmiri red chilli powder. In another bowl, take about 2 tablespoons of plain yogurt and stir it very well before using. Now in a pan, add 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil on medium to high heat. Once the oil gets heated up, add a dried bay leaf, a cinnamon stick and green cardamoms. Stir for a second and then add the chopped onions. Stir on medium to high heat till the onions become little soft. Then add the ginger garlic onion paste. Stir till all the water evaporates and the paste looks dry. This will take about 4 to 5 minutes. Here you can see the oil is leaving the sides of the paste. This is when you will understand that it has got well fried. At this point lower the heat and add the spice paste. Stir it well for about a minute. Then comes the yogurt. Stir the yogurt very well before adding to the pan. This will prevent the yogurt from curdling. The heat should be at the lowest point while adding the yogurt. Then add a little water to the pan to bring down the temperature and add the yogurt a few spoonfuls at a time. Mix well and again add a little bit of yogurt and again mix. This will also prevent the yogurt from curdling. If you add the yogurt all in one go, then there are chances that it will curdle. So always add it in this way. Then after you are done adding all the yogurt, add about 1.5 teaspoons of sugar and again mix. Sugar brings a balance to the flavor of this dish, but you can leave it out if you have any concerns. After that, I added a splash of water and fried everything. Next, I strained the water from the paneer and added the paneer. Be very gentle while mixing as the paneer may break. So mix a little and shake the pan at the same time so that everything gets well mixed. Then I added about 1.5 cups of warm water. I always add warm water whenever I make my gravies as it speeds up the cooking process. Then add about a teaspoon of salt and swirl the pan to mix. After that, add about 1 4th of a teaspoon of ground mace or javitri powder and 1 4th of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg or joyful powder. Then again swirl the pan to mix. Do not use a spoon at this point as the paneer may break. Leave it on medium heat for about 5 minutes. After that, add the cashew paste. The cashew paste gives a nice creamy texture to the gravy, so I didn't use any cream at all. Then cover the pan for another 5 minutes on low heat. After 5 minutes uncover, 
Then I added about 1/4 teaspoon of my homemade garam masala powder. I have left the link to the recipe of my homemade garam masala powder in the description box below. Then cover the pan for another 2 minutes. After 2 minutes garnish it with coriander leaves. So you saw how this dish was made in such a healthy way. So no need to run to the gym after having this. Serve this with roti naan or rice. If you are new to my channel then please consider subscribing. Eat healthy and stay healthy. Bye bye.